Nice coconuts in that one. What's up everybody? Today is Sunday and I'm going to work. I got six coconut trees to trim today and perfect timing. I just got some comments from a viewer on YouTube on one of my videos from I think two years ago where I was trying to show how to trim a coconut tree and it was taking me over two hours to trim just a few trees and this guy gave me some some good feedback some good advice on how to speed up my process a little bit more so hopefully I can use what he said and try and uh, take that technique and put it to work today so that's what I'm doing today getting some gas and then I'm headed to the North Shore to go trim coconut trees on Sunday Oh yeah, my name is Alex. I'm a landscaper here on Oahu, and I like making videos. I used to just make videos of only me working, or only when I thought it was something worthy of putting on video, like I thought I could only show like when I trimmed a tree, or when I planted some plants or something, but now I make videos of everything I do. I guess you could say I'm a daily vlogger. I don't have a schedule. I'm not like every day at 8 a.m. I will release a new video. I'm not like that. I just make videos every day and post them if I can. the property now it's actually four five coconut trees I thought it was six it's only five uh, I've trimmed these trees like a year ago I think there's this one right here oh wow it looks like that thing is dying Actually, I'm not even going to mess with that tree. It doesn't even need to be trimmed. So I'm going to do these four trees today. A little less than I thought, but... And they are. They got... They got some coconut bunches up in there. Some young ones. There's that one. That one on the end. There's one more right here. They're not super tall or anything, which is good for me because I'm not a pro tree trimmer. I actually have never had anyone teach me how to trim coconut trees or give me any advice except for this uh, viewer on YouTube that is a coconut tree trimmer here on Oahu. Thanks for the advice, man. Hopefully I can uh, put that to use today. But the, basically the only way that I've uh, had any knowledge of tree trimming is by watching YouTube videos. I studied videos of uh, guys in California trimming palm trees. Uh, this Mexican dude, Lupio, he pretty much shows the whole process of how he climbs and trims trees. Those crazy giant California fan palm trees and giant uh, Canary Island Phoenix palms and stuff like that and I mean he's like a 
professional tree trimmer. He's got the whole crew and chipper and everything. So I basically watched his videos and kind of learned some techniques of climbing palm trees and been watching uh, International Society of Arborists, been watching their videos. And this was all like three or four years ago when I first started. And now I trim coconut trees at one property twice a year and then another property I do these three trees every four months and then every once in a while somebody will call me for a couple trees here and there but I basically only trim coconut trees a couple times a year so each time I do it again I gotta kinda remember my steps of how I do it so hopefully I can uh, put this knowledge that put it to use he told me to clear out a little window area of where I'm working take off all the seed pods and all that kind of stuff first and then go back and cut the corners of each palm frond so they droop down and then one hit should take each one off easily and then clean up the crown he's telling me that uh, each tree should take three to eight minutes climb and all it takes me three minutes just to climb the tree so <laughs> we'll see I'm gonna gear up and get started now Well, I used to get super nervous before I would climb coconut trees too. Even like the day before I was going to go trim some trees. I would get myself all worked up, get all nervous, but I think I'm kind of getting over that now. I've done it enough times where I'm not super nervous about it anymore. Kind of used to the height too. I mean, these trees are not high coconut trees whatsoever, but I used to still just get nervous about trimming coconut trees. I had one job down on the west side of Oahu where I did 11 trees in one day and they were all real high ones, but the palm fronds were real skinny and I just used the handsaw, whacked off a few palm fronds and took off the coconut bunches and came down and I lost my good machete my cane knife so I'm using this thing today still got some weight to it but it doesn't have the big square edge on it so we'll see how that goes I forgot my uh, my lanyard for it too so if I drop it then I'm coming back down to get it and I use this setup right here. This is a hitch climber pulley. And uh, what I do is I have this thing. These are called a false crotch or an adjustable false crotch. You put the rope through these rings and it's wrapped around the tree and it lets you slide back and forth real easily and go up and down. So I use that to repel out of the tree and also to position myself up there a little bit, which is not necessary whatsoever. And uh, it's probably kind of a waste of time, but I don't know. It makes me feel more comfortable when I'm up there and I'm tied in in two spots and I kind of I put it up a little bit higher up in the tree so I can rest back on the rope and adjust myself a little bit better. I mean, just to get up there and to set this up takes me five minutes. So should be done trimming the tree by then, but I don't know. I guess that's just my technique, but I definitely want to try out the uh, technique that someone was uh, giving me in the comments section so I guess maybe I'll uh, I'll go up there and start whacking and see if I can do what he was saying right away but we'll see there we go
Oh, I feel the sprinkles coming. Yep. Raining now. Damn. more to go. This one up here has got some pretty big coconuts on it. But that one's looking all right. That one's looking all right. The first one I did, that one's all right. No quick job, but I guess I'm getting better at it. I mean, I hit the corners, but I think he meant to whack all the corners and drop them all hanging down and then go around and whack each one off. But I don't know, I just, I can't really do that. Maybe it's my knife. Maybe it's not sharp enough. I don't know. And now I clean it up. Not too bad. Four piles, one, two, three, four. This one's kind of small. But at least I scored some coconuts, right? Oh yeah, clouds come over. Whew, I better get my shirt on, I'm gonna get sunburned. Why do I make YouTube videos? 
I don't know why. I just like it. It's like my form of artwork, my form of expression, I guess. I don't know, I've been making videos ever since I could. I kind of took over my friend's little digital camcorder when I was 15 or 16 and started recording myself skating. Tried to make surf videos, but I never could video myself surfing, so I will just video other people surfing. And I remember doing some cinematography, doing some close-ups of some waves and some slow pan outs and pans up to the, the pier in San Diego. And I even figured out how to put music to the videos. I would edit them with two VCRs and push stop and play and record. And somehow I made like a fast paced skate video. I kind of was inspired by Taylor Steele and the old Taylor Steele surf videos. So I've been, I guess I've been creating for a long time. I just didn't have any way to share it. I just put it on a video tape and put it on the shelf and it just disappeared over time. It's gone now, but ever since I got my first uh, smartphone that could record video, I started shooting video and editing it with Windows Movie Maker, making funny little videos. And now, advance of technology, I just edit the videos right here on my smartphone. My camera is broken on my smartphone, so I use a GoPro and this Canon camera I'm shooting on right here. I learned this on YouTube. A couple arm lengths of rope. And then start doing it. Off on this leaf here. There you go. See ya. Hey, you might want to change your color to green now that you're not in the coconut tree anymore. See ya. Just finished up. Finished cleaning up everything. I got a bunch of coconuts in the back of my truck, and I pretty much got everything on the trailer. Well, thanks for the advice, Justin. I'm not sure if I used it at all. I mean, I gotta just keep on going and just keep practicing, keep doing it over and over and over again. It's hard when I only do coconuts a couple times a year. I'm sure if you do it like every day or at least a couple times a week then you get really good at it but i kind of have to relearn every time i climb so but i'm getting way better than i was a few years ago so progress is being made this is your first time watching my video and you actually made it this far in the video then maybe subscribe hit the like button share this video Leave me some comments, let me know what you think. And uh, if you hit the notification bell, you'll actually see my new videos and I post new videos pretty much every day. So if 
If you subscribe and you don't hit the notification button, you may never see another one of my videos again. So maybe hit that bell and we'll see you next time. Bye.